A very good morning to all. Today, let's start this class with a new chapter, chapter number 5. And the name of the chapter is Some Other Cities. So, here we'll be discussing about some cities. So, first, let's discuss about Bangalore. Earlier, Bangalore was known as Bangalore. And it is the capital of the southern Indian state that is Karnataka. So, here in the map, you can see in the south, the state Karnataka with its capital Bengaluru. This city is also known as the garden city because it has many beautiful gardens such as Lal Bagh Botanical Garden and Cuban Park. And this is also known as the Silicon Valley because there are many IT companies present in this city. Bengaluru also has a well-developed public transport system which consists of B. MTC buses and Namma Metro. So here BNTC its full form is Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation buses. So Bangalore city also has a well developed transport system which consists of BNTC buses and Namma Metro. Next let's discuss about the climate. This city has a pleasant and moderate climate throughout the year. And the most common language that is spoken by the people is Kannada. But along with this, people also speak Tamil, Telugu, Hindi and English. And one of the important festival of this city is Karaga festival, which is celebrated in the name of goddesses Shakti. Now, let's see some of the important places in this city. And they are Bangalore Palace, Vidhan Sauda, Chinnaswamy Stadium, Tipu Sultan's Palace. Here, Chinnaswamy Stadium is one of the best cricket stadium within the country and it can accommodate about 40,000 people at a time and it is green because it uses the electricity that is produced by the solar panels. So, this was about the Bengaluru city. Next, let's discuss about Hyderabad. Hyderabad, it is the capital of Telangana state. So, here in the map you can see Telangana with its capital Hyderabad. Now, this city is also known as the city of Nizam and it is located on the banks of river Musi. And this city is also known as the city of pearls because this city is famous for its pearl processing and trading industries. Here it includes two cities that is Hyderabad and Secunderabad which are connected by Hussain Sagar Lake. And the most common language that is spoken by the people here is Telugu. And if we discuss about the climate, this city has hot summers and pleasant winter climate. And this city also has a well-developed public transport system, which consists of metro rail, taxis and straight run buses. Next. Let's see some of the important places which are present in this city. And they are Char Minar, Golconda Fort, Snow World, Makkah, Masjid. Here, Char Minar. Char means four and Minar means tower. So, you can see here Char Minar having four beautiful towers. So, this was about some of the important places in Hyderabad city. Next, the two most famous dishes are Hyderabadi Biryani and Hyderabadi Halim. So, this was about the Hyderabad city. Next, let's discuss about another city that is Tiruvannadapuram. Now, this is the capital of Kerala state and it is also known as the evergreen city of India. And here, mostly people speak in Malayalam, but along with this, people also speak Tamil and English. Now, this word is derived from a Malayalam word known as Tiru Ananta Puram, which means the city of Lord Ananta. Now here the climate is hot and humid climate throughout the year because it receives heavy rainfall throughout the year. Next let's discuss about the public transport system. So it has reliable public transport system which consists of KSRTC buses. Here, KSRTC full form is Kerala State Road Transport Corporation buses. And 
one of the important seaport here in this city is Vidinjam International Seaport. Next, let's discuss some of the famous places which are located in this city and some of them are Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple and Napier Museum. So this was about Tiruvannathapuram city. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.